Oh God! Shh. All right, so welcome to It Moves, or well, that's basically what the game is. It Moves. Uh, I have seen some gameplay of this already. I'm guessing from the demo. I'm not a hundred percent sure of everything to do. I just seen bits and pieces of it. I've even seen the ammo and ending. And I would think the full game was released actually like in February and I haven't seen anything about it since. So I just about the majority of this is going to be new to me for the most part. But uh yeah. I'll uh go ahead and start. Just brightness so that left bar, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. I can deal with that. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. Some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game. When I was a child, nighttime was blah, 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 blah. To truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. Cool. This is me. It's a wolf. Full of toys and stuff. Poster from a movie. I got it from my brother. Mr. Teddy. Oh. It's a bunk bed. I sleep on the top. Okay. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real, but I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all. Now as best I can. Make of it what you will. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Flowers. Mom put these here. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of his room that we both had shared. Until then. Oh, to keep out of the room that we both shared. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, brother. You're a dick. This is my father. Don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime soon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whatever. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with me being moved into a room of my own. Nothing too interesting. Mom told me not to touch your stuff, especially this stuff. Just a bunch of clothes in here. A man with a mustache. Well, ain't that quaint. Ventilation? I think Mom said this is... Boxes full of stuff. Okay, cute. Oh, pardon me. Those beers are hitting me now. This is my mother. How do you like your new room? Soon you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Uh, oh, okay. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own as a, as a result. Result. I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous for me. To me. Holy shit, I can't even talk. God dang it. Don't go pull it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck off. Uh-oh, I think it's bedtime. Alright, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their... Ah! What are you doing? Stupid rats. Yes, I got some rats as pets, and they were nipping at me. Yes, as adults need their sleep, you see, you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. Oh, no, 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 don't get on me. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Put some Purell on this bitch so the rats don't think my finger is food. I just ate dinner. Chapter One, Keith. Whoa, I'll cave you. Whoa, now, that sounded too wrong. Okay. Save? Yes, save, because I have no idea what to expect. 
there's something here. Which I cannot interact with. Okay, whatever. It's all flashy and shit. Small water hole. The water is dirty. Probably not good to drink it. Okay. Wait, what was that? There is something up there, but okay. A pot and some ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Your soul. Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it as more intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed. With me. Just kidding. You are creepy. Cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of these stairs. Sure, let's go down. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Okay. Well, this is curiously creepy. That wasn't welcoming at all. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing at all. Nothing. Why? Why would you do that? Not sure how I figured that out so quick, but okay. Doop doop doom. Anything down here? Nothing, so I continue forward. I guess I continue on. Oh, you're just cute. Oh, good lord. Why am I not running? Like, honestly, I cannot run anymore. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, good God. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. I know this. You said that before. Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. It's a wolf. It's a mom bed. I sleep in Okay, I get it. Jesus. Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast, guy. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. What about... Daddy. Still sleeping. Like a bitch. I shouldn't go outside right now. Okay, cool. It's locked, stupid bro. Wow, that's harsh. Picture of a man standing around. I think it's dad when he was younger. You think? And so another day started. It was a day of a little importance to our story. I won't bother you with details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Oh lord. Okay. Let's do this. Sleep. Okay, there you go. Chapter 2 
Labyrinth. I guess. Labyrinth. Uh, save? Yes, because I have no idea what's going on. Okay. That's... So I just gotta press... What in the ever-loving shit? I also remember that there is a scene here where a picture slowly fades in and it's incredibly creepy. I'm not 100% sure. Oh! Neat! I did something right for once. Ventilation, maybe? The air is still stuffy, though. Cool! Looks like a fan. I am your biggest fan. Instructions on how to use a fire extinguisher. That's cute. Oh, good god. I do not like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, god! Shh. Yep. I was right about that, somewhat, and that picture is incredibly creepy. Nope. I don't want to touch you ever again. I want you to go away, face. Go away. Go. Away. Now. Oh, God. You are incredibly creepy. That's actually kind of distracting me from what I'm trying to do. Like, incredibly distracting. No, I don't want to touch you. Do I have to touch you? Really? Stop it. You're disturbing me. God dang it. His face will not go away. Like, do I really have to touch them? Seriously? Uh, Why? Why is that face there? don't like this at all. Holy shit, that face, dude. It's so fucking creepy. Like, undoubtedly creepy. Why is this face there? Oh, God damn it. Oh. 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 Oh, God damn it. Oh, there you are. You little shit. Come on, let's get this over with. Like, I'm trying to deter my fucking attention from this stupid thing. Oh, God! Why? Why? Why are you going? What the hell happened? When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there, oh god damn it. There was enough light creeping in the inside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed, because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which has all believed it woke me. 
That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and something breathing. As if something disturbed a sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. Or perhaps my pet cat is finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. <laughs> Had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked into my room then. Yes, that must be it. It must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vein that I could go back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath ceased. I thought it must have been disturbed, but I quickly realized that the visitor in my bottom bug was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the just began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost un impenetrable darkness. I let out a cry. As almost young boy does, I stanley shouted to out my own mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bump bed suddenly started to shake finally as if gripped in an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I didn't want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shrewd shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. Stop. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief. That sounds like a song, Tears of Fear. Oh well. Followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet, through all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in the bunk would return, even if so much I spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know. But as a child, I felt that the unseen menace remained close listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in the suffocating room. It was a Saturday, and I played outside quite happily with my friends. I would, too. Fuck, if I just got woken up in the middle of the night, my bunk bed starts scraping up against the walls out of nowhere. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy being somewhere else. Although our house was not a large was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. played there often, as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climbing the huge sycamore tree, which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it was, occasionally my eye would turn to a small window in my room, an ordinary, ordinary slight innocuous. I think that's what it said, in, in something. But for me, that would... That would thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Dun dun dun. I'll probably make this less creepy than it should be. Chapter 3 Factorized. Oh, well. I will save here and stop because it is 20 minutes in and I'd rather have more than enough time that and it's going to take a minute to upload everything. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video so far, hopefully, but in any case, I will let y'all go and thanks for watching. In the sun of the rain, we can be like they are.